This is an exhibit of East African commercial textiles, specifically the Kanga, which is a rectangular piece of cloth with a border around it and an inscription in Swahili, and the Katenge, uh, brightly patterned fabric that is essentially a yard good. They are ubiquitous in East Africa. Women wear them, and there is no rite of passage or important occasion that isn't marked by the giving and receiving of this cloth. Because they are mass produced, they are relatively affordable for East Africans. And it is the cheapest way for an East African woman to look like a million bucks. In traditional cultures, it is often not polite to simply tell somebody how you feel straight to their face. For women in particular, these congas serve as a way for them to communicate to their family, their husbands, their boyfriends, their neighbors how they feel. This one here says, Mungu atani zawadia kwa uvumulivu wangu, which means God will reward me for my patience. This kanga here says, I will tell you the truth, even if you will hate me for it. This one down here says, We are the two that love each other. Please give us a chance. Typically, in Africa, in the markets and bazaars, they're hung like this so people can choose which one to buy. Again, the sayings, the, the inscriptions, and the pictures don't necessarily line up. But this, again, to remember, East Africa, even though plenty of people can read and write, are still very much based in an oral culture. And they don't have the cognitive dissonance that we do when the picture and the inscription don't directly relate. It is a profusion of color in an African marketplace and in an African street. Typically, women buy these kanga or kitenge in matched pairs, and they'll wrap one around their waist, and they'll drape the other over their head or their shoulders. The kitenge, because they don't have a border around all four sides, can also be used to make clothing. Yeah. Kanga and Kitenge, Cloth and Culture in East Africa, is available as a traveling exhibition. The exhibition includes uh, 70 stretched mounted textiles and an additional 180 textiles that are meant to be displayed in the manner that textiles are displayed in the marketplace over a rope covering the wall of the room floor to ceiling. In addition, there are 50 uh, frame photographs that illustrate both the production and use of the textiles in Africa. There are a series of fashion posters that illustrate how the katenge are used as, uh, as the basic ingredient of African fashion. There are a group of other textiles as well, Sai blankets, kikoi, and some hand-decorated textiles, both batik and tie-dyed textiles. There are also a number of conga that are available for people to try on for a hands-on kind of thing. There's another hands-on component to design your own textiles. There are also some original designs for conga produced uh, for the Tanzanian market and a couple that are commissioned specifically for this exhibition and information about the artists and designers who create these.